Hi everyone, this is Brandon here. Welcome to my next episode, day 35 of my Let's Clash series. So let's begin the episode by going ahead to attack this base with 254,000 gold available. And the gold, a lot of them, they are inside the gold mine. So just going ahead to just attack the gold mines. Ain't gonna bother to try to get a 1 star because it's just not gonna be efficient for me to use all my troops to get the 1 star. Especially when I'm trying to farm my way up to max capacity of 5 million gold storage. So uh, just surrendering and getting the 254,000 that I've gotten. And going ahead with the next attack, this is uh, easy base to attack too, just with 160,000 gold available only. But uh, it's pretty easy to go for it because the gold mines, they're all exposed and the gold mines, they're all very full. So some of you have been uh, wondering what uh, kind of trophy range and also what kind of leaks am I farming at. I'm actually still farming at a uh, gold leak. In fact, I'm farming at gold 2 leak which is actually um, between 1,600 trophy range to 1,800. So between these 200 trophy range, I'm actually farming over there to find uh, such bases to attack. I did uh, try farming at uh, Bronze League and also at Silver League other, with my other accounts. However, the loot ain't as uh, good as farming in Gold League. I would think the reason is because a lot of people have gone to Bronze League and Silver League to farm over there due to the new matchmaking system. So the loot over there, I think it's not too good, but also it's not too bad. I mean, I've heard from people who are like finding 800 over 1000 uh, resources and also 1 million over resources uh, bases to attack. But the problem is I can't seem to find those kind of bases to attack. Maybe it's because I'm not uh, searching at the right trophy range. I'm not too sure. I've searched from like 800 trophy range all the way up to like a 1,400 trophy range and I can't seem to find a suitable base for me to attack. What I mean by a suitable base is basically a base that has an easy uh, collector rate such as this one that I'm just showing you guys. So going ahead uh, to attack this base with 237,000 gold available. And this kind of collector's rate is relatively easy to find in gold league, especially like this particular one whereby I just have to take out the gold mines and then I just have to surrender and not even bothering to use all my troops. At the same time, while I'm actually searching, I actually do snipe some town halls to actually maintain my trophies. So going ahead with just still 195,000 gold from that base and just surrendering. So going ahead with this very next attack, uh, this base, I was a little lazy to try to think of how a way to attack it. But I just uh, spam out all my troops in those uh, four different sites and then after I just waited for my troops to just take out the uh, resources. So as now you can see on the top left, the resources have gone down so much and then now it's just at 40% going ahead to get the 50% 1 star so now as you can see it's doing really well although I didn't uh, deploy my troops in a particular manner whereby I usually deploy which is a uh, top uh, left then after the top right top uh, bottom right then after that bottom left uh, those strategy but I still deploy it in this particular manner whereby I still get the uh, job done so now going ahead to watch a defensive replay that actually uh, happened onto me uh, what happened was this guy was using some barbarian archers and also some giants and some wall breakers not even having any clan castle with him Maybe he forgot to request for some troops or perhaps he might have used it in the previous raid and then uh, didn't um, get the troops for this particular raid. So now as you can see, he's took out one of my elixir storage which is pretty fine. I mean, I don't have the need to uh, use my elixir to do any upgrades for now. And proceeding to attack from the bottom right and then with my clan castle came out one giant and the rest of the troops are the wizards which I usually use for my raiding. But I didn't uh, change my troops to the witches as usually that's what I use for defense as some of you guys have asked whether is it better to use wizards, witches or valkyries for defense I mean it really depends on um, first of all what are you trying to do whether are you trying to um, use your troops to defend in the inside of your base or the outside of your base I would say that if you're trying to have your clan castle troops being defending inside of your base with high level walls it's good to have some witches maybe one or two witches and I would say it also depends on the layer of your base whether it's good to use certain kind of troops in your clan castle like for example on my main account uh, defending in Thai Champions League I usually use like 35 archers or in fact like one lava hound and five archers in my clan castle so it really depends on what I'm trying to defend against so for example if I'm trying to defend against ground troops like a uh, Gobi Wipe uh, then I have to use 35 archers which is way better than using uh, Lava Hound in the clan castle. I would feel that using Lava Hound in the clan castle is better to defend against air, especially uh, when the um, Lava Pups were to come out and then they distract the minions a lot in such a way whereby the minions can't take them out really quickly. But if I have like 35 archers uh, in my deck, uh, clan castle to defense against air like for example the balloon were to drop on them then after that they will get taken out really quickly so it really depends on what kind of uh, way you are actually defending your base so now as you can see this guy is going to attack me with uh, some barbarians and archers level 6 barbarians and archers level 10 barbarian king and level 9 archer queen 
again no clan castle but look at how this guy attack he attacked in a different manner as compared to the previous uh, attacker who attacked me so going ahead to steal definitely going to steal all my loot because it's very uh, high loot for him so he's going to go ahead to attack from the bottom going ahead to uh, take out a lot of my structures first on the outside then slowly patiently uh, deploying his troops king and queen has really gone down haven't even used the ability yet and then now just pouring away all the way into my base not even having any wall breakers to help him out and of course no spells also so my base as you can see is pretty weak not pretty weak but very very weak weak even to the extent whereby i'm getting three start by barbarians and archers and uh yeah i won't be upgrading my defenses anytime sooner as i really want to upgrade other stuff once i reach to Taho 9 such as my army camps and also my spell factory and also my research lab so for those of you who are wondering whether i'm gonna upgrade my defenses anytime soon not yet but yeah i will definitely focus on them once i reach to Taho 9 but Taho 9 i'm thinking to have like one free builder so that I could use the resources to upgrade the walls uh, much quicker. Last time I didn't do that because um, I could only use gold to upgrade the walls. So using gold to upgrade the walls, basically I don't have to um, have a lot of resources being overflowed. But currently right now, since we are able to use the elixir to upgrade the walls, I might have to have a free builder along the way, all the way through I'm, I max my Town Hall 9 so that I could upgrade my walls uh, pretty much faster. So going ahead to attack this base with a, a very very high amount of loot, uh, almost 300 over 1000 gold available and uh, definitely just going for it because it's very high in loot and not going to bother about uh, whether am I going to get the elixir or not because my elixir is overflowing so like for example this base that I'm attacking right now, the elixir is relatively low with uh, just 110 elixir available and Furthermore, I'm not going to bother about going ahead for the elixir because I'm just going ahead for the gold. Upgrading my walls is definitely the top priority right now. And also some of you have been asking why am I only upgrading walls and not upgrading the defenses. I've explained in my previous few episodes. For those of you who haven't watched it, do take a look at my previous few episodes where I explain stating why am I upgrading the walls. First of all, the main reason is because the walls, they take a very long time to upgrade. In fact, last time when I farmed for my main account, after I've uh, maxed my defenses and also maxed my hero, my walls were kind of the last one and the hardest one to actually max because they just take way too much amount of uh, resources to actually uh, upgrade them. It take a total of 2.3 billion gold to actually upgrade them last time. So now as you can see, my duck barrack has just completed its construction and going ahead to upgrade more walls getting them to level 8 with the amount of gold that I actually have so having a 500,000 gold left I'm going to remove one of the obstacle and then while removing the obstacle while it's being removed I'm going to search for raid so some of you have stated in the comments they saying that why am I doing this does it make the search better in such a way whereby I'm finding the loot better no this doesn't help increase the search or whatsoever why am I doing this is because I do not want my builder to not do anything and then uh, when I come back to my base and then when I do a raid, it's, not, uh, it's basically idling. So what I do is I'll do at least one upgrade, like for example doing a 5 minutes upgrade now, I'll go and search for a raid. And why do I need to search for a raid is because I do not want to spend that remaining 500,000 on that last level 8 war. If I were to do that, I wouldn't have any gold left to do any more searches later. So that's why I try to upgrade, uh, sorry, to remove an obstacle. And once I remove an obstacle, I have 10 seconds basically to search for a raid and do a raid. But of course, 10 seconds is not enough. But using 10 seconds to spend my builder's time is be definitely better than uh, not having my builder doing anything. So now I've just got like 100,000 from this uh, base. Once I go back to my village, I'm going to spend 500,000 on one level 8 war. And then with the remaining go, I would think and get okay, what can I upgrade. So now as you can see, the obstacle has been removed. Upgrading one of the wall to level 8 and then going ahead to remove one more bush. The bush would give me 4 gems. And now with 110,000 gold left, I'm going to go ahead to upgrade a few more walls, those lower level ones. So this is the reason why I'm actually having those lower level walls such as those level 1 walls because they cost very little to upgrade them. So if I actually upgraded all my walls to dark purple crystal wall, I won't be able to spend that remaining 100,000 gold to upgrade a dark purple crystal wall to a skull wall which is going to cost 500,000 gold. So that's why I actually have some lower level walls so that I can actually do this. So now with 8,441 gold left, I'm relatively safe enough to do a few searches before I actually 
uh, do a read. So now going ahead to upgrade my dark elixir storage to level 2, which will take 2 days to upgrade so that I can increase my capacity and do a little bit of dark elixir farming. So now as you can see, I've gotten 120 of my walls to level 8, just uh, above, slightly above half of the amount that I have right now, which is 225. So yeah, those of you who have added me on Game Center, I really thank you so much for adding me. So for those of you who really want to add me, I'll await that. As also mentioned, my main account is full with 500 friends so that so none of you can actually add me and I can't request to actually have friends, uh, be friends with you guys too. So now as you can see, my go grab hasn't increased that much as compared to the previous episode. So I'm going to increase it more in the next few episodes by farming a lot. So the way I'm going to do it is I might have a free builder with me. Uh, for the next few days before I reach to Tower 9 so that I could upgrade my walls to all to level 8, perhaps all, but I don't think I'll be able to do all, maybe majority of it, maybe 80% of it, hopefully be able to get all, but we will see, maybe uh, we, there's a miracle that could happen that I could actually farm all of them. So I won't be boosting or using any gems to upgrade my walls as that wouldn't make sense. The only reason why I will use gems is actually to farm for Dark Elixir next time when I actually do not have enough time to farm the amount of Dark Elixir required for the heroes. So yeah, that's it for this uh, particular episode update. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. So if that's it, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my video and clash on.